Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a little maths lesson but don't worry, this is better than anything you've learned in year 11 school lessons. This will help you to see future returns on your investments and see how much money you could make. Before this video does start, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe as well as it does mean a lot to me. With all that being said, let's get into it. As you know already, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a licensed financial advisor, so if you do want professional help, you will have to look elsewhere. Welcome to the wonderful world of compound interest. I'm sure a lot of people who have been investing are aware of compound interest, but for those who don't, I'm gonna go through it for you. Compound interest is the sum of money you get after you reinvest the interest earned from a stock, like a dividend. So, any interest you earn from that point onwards is the sum of the original amount of money you put in the stock plus the interest you've earned from that stock already. This may seem confusing, but it's a lot simpler than you think. So I'm going to run through an example for you. Let's say you purchase $100 worth of a stock which pays a 10% dividend per year and you're willing to hold that stock for 5 years. If you decide not to reinvest the interest earned from that stock over the five years, you will be left with a value of $150 at the end. This is because each annual dividend will pay you $10 because 10% of $100 is $10. And after five years, that will equal to $50. Add that onto your original investment of $100 and that comes to a total of $150 this is normal interest compound interest on the other hand is different instead of using the money you've earned each year from dividends for other purposes you reinvest it back into the stock let's say it's the same scenario you have a hundred dollars in a stock and you're willing to hold it for five years with a 10 percent annual return at the end of year one you receive ten dollars in dividends as ten percent of a hundred dollars is ten dollars you then put that $10 dividend back into the stock. So you have $110 going into year two. At the end of year two, you receive an $11 payment in dividends. That's 10% of $110 is $11. Same routine going into year three. You then put that dividend payment back into the stock. You then have a $121 investment going into year three. At the end of year three, you receive a payment of $12.10 in dividends. If this process is continued for the rest of the five years, that $100 initial investment turns into a value of $159.73. That's $9.73 more in comparison to leaving your investment to normal interest. Now this difference might not seem a lot, but when this happens over a longer period of time with larger amounts of money, it accumulates very quick. However, this method does assume that the 10% interest rate stays the same over the five years and no extra funds are added or taken away from your initial investment. I went with 10% to make it easy because that is the average increase of the S&P 500 every year. What I'm trying to say is, it's always good to reinvest your interest earned from a stock that you plan to hold for the long term. This is because you will see a larger return in comparison to just leaving it with normal interest rates, no matter how big your investment is. Now, this is where compound interest may interest you. It can also be used to calculate the value of investments with continuous deposits going forward, whether that's yearly or monthly. There is a formula to use for this, but if you do use it, you're a bit of a waste man, I can't lie. <laughs> so instead, I use the website, thecalculatorsite.com, as they have a calculator made specifically for compound interest. It's a lot easier, I mean, they do it for you. This is what the calculator looks like when you go onto the website. As you can see, we have the currency, the initial deposit amount, which you want to put in, the interest rate. Well, for this, I normally put like eight to 10% because that is, well, based off the S&P 500. But if you want to be 
little bit more realistic obviously it depends what stock you're buying into so if you're doing a low or a short term growth stock then depending on their long term projection like I don't know like this is mainly for long term stocks which can see growth over a couple of years but for the example let's go with 10% based off the S&P 500 so you have your interest rate at 10% yearly and you can always change that to months if you want and under that you have the amount of years and months you plan on holding it for underneath that you can see the amount of money you wish to deposit or withdraw from your investment each month or year if you choose to and you can always choose to add in inflation if you really want to which is two percent average per year obviously with the whole virus it does vary because a lot of money's been printed at the moment etc etc i spoke about it in my first video but yeah you can choose to include inflation because with some deposits you might have to put a little bit more money in as if you know what inflation is the general tendency for prices to increase you'll have to put a little bit more money in per month so for this example i've gone with an initial deposit of two thousand pounds with a ten percent yearly return let's say i plan on holding this for five years and each month i'm going to put another 200 pounds into the stock putting another 200 pounds into the stock is quite reasonable considering how much you get paid but obviously that is up to you if you're willing to put in 50% of your paycheck, 80% of your paycheck, you can. But if you're going to balance it between other stocks and save money for other things, like going out, getting smashed, then you're going to want to keep a little bit of money to the side. But with this one, I'm going to go with £200 deposit monthly. And this is every month consistently for five years. So then we press a little calculate button at the bottom. The site does its magic and... Boom, this is the value of our investment. This investment is now worth £18,907 a 9p. I had to keep looking there. Meaning the total interest earned from this sum is £4,907 and 9p. As you can see, the total deposited amount is £14,000. Now this takes into account the £2,000 initial investment and the extra £12,000 which was deposited by £200 monthly over the course of five years. Here's a little table to make things a little bit easier if you're, you know, a picture kind of person. This calculator is always fun to play around with as you can take any of your current investments or investments which you're planning on making and see how valuable they're going to be worth in any time duration which you choose it is quite amazing when you start to see the numbers which start to add up over time there are a lot of variables which come into play are you going to be able to deposit the exact same amount every month is the interest rate going to stay the same and are you going to have those diamond hands to hold the whole time but using compound interest is a little bit of an eye opener it shows you how powerful long-term investments really are because i mean if you have your money sitting in a bank <laughs> you're not going to be getting this kind of money anyway guys that is going to be it for this video sorry for the lack of uploads recently i've been having fun in the snow as you can see here if you did enjoy this video please smash that like button and press subscribe and make sure you check out ben bassam's channel and the bundle as well content doesn't stop coming best of luck investing and i'll see you in a bit